Hi, I'm Jacinta and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a dream tour of an island called Moon Cove. The creator of this island goes by the name mooncove.acnh on Instagram. I've been following them for a while and from their pictures, the island looks absolutely stunning. The creator has said they've gone for an ethereal and elegant aesthetic for their island and I'm really excited to check it out. Okay, so here we are at Moon Cove and I can see there's a few presents laid out. One of this is going to be an outfit that matches the island. Let's have a look. Ooh, I wonder if this one I'm already wearing. It is. <laughs> Love that. I've already come in theme. Victorian dress. Oh, cute. Suspender outfit. Cute, the creator's gone for a couple of different styles here. Simple panel. I'm confused. <laughs> wow, I'm going to put that dress back on. Okay, I'm gonna head to the entrance of the island because that's where I like starting these tours from. Okay, so I've made it to the entrance and you can already tell this island is going to be so stunning. I'm so excited to have a look around. I'm gonna have a look at their map to see which villages they've got and to see the island layout. Wow, look at all those pathways. That is a lot of work. They've got Sherb, Aurora, Roscoe, Judy, Lolly, Coco, Maple, Raymond, Diana, and Lucky. Some very popular villages in amongst that lot. So let's get started. Wow, this entrance walkway is so gorgeous. With all those lamp posts and the holly bushes. And the snow looks really good on this island. And here it looks like we've got a shopping area with Nook's Cranny and Abel Sisters right next to each other. And there's the fountain centerpiece in between the two. Now I am a little late with this video, so there will be some Christmas decorations around, but I think it still fits in with the winter theme. Got a statue in between the buildings here, and just a couple of little items like the flower garden wagon and the garden lantern. Oh, this is also pretty. I love those crescent moon chairs. And they've got a little music set up here. Maybe there's a band playing in the background while people do their shopping. So you can tell this island just uses a lot of white colors, which I think really makes a statement. Definitely makes it look elegant like what the creator was going for. Oh, and the gold of these zodiac items work really well with the white too. Ooh, what's that bit down the bottom? I might go into that area next. It's always hard to know what order to go through. Oh cool, so this looks like a little waiting area as it's near the entrance. So you can sit down here and chill before your flight out of Moon Cove. Although I don't know why you'd want to leave because it's so beautiful. Okay, I might as well keep going around this way. Ooh, and we've got a little beach scene here. Wow. This is so gorgeous. I love these wedding arches. It's such a nice item. Oh my gosh, look at all those butterflies on top of the turkey day stands. That looks so stunning. And at the end here, it looks like we've got a little cake shop. So gorgeous. Cutest little cakes too. <laughs> now I might just actually head back down the beach in case I missed anything down there. Oh, hi Raymond. Bungee jumping, okay. Oh wow, this is so gorgeous. I really love the way this creator's decorated their beaches. Looks so good with the pond there, the candles, and I love the added touch of the little sandals on the ground too. Definitely giving me ideas. Well, that's the end of that side of the beach. So perfect, I love it. And then we'll head back to the pathway and I'm gonna go up this incline. And looks like maybe we've got some resident houses here. Oh, Maple. Hello. Whose house is this one? Coco's house. She's just got a cute little setup here. Looks like she shares with someone maybe. She's with Aurora. Cute. Just imagine them meeting for tea there in the mornings. And from the map, it looks like the creator has all of the villager houses in a line here, which I actually really like this. That's a good way to set them up, I think. Hi, Diana. Oh, and the creator's actually got the table and chairs in between all the houses, so that it all matches. I quite like that it all matches like that. I don't think I have enough room on my island to put all my villager houses in a row, but I really like that idea. This little area behind the villager houses looks very elegant. They've used a mixture of the wedding items, statues, zodiac items, and the ice items. And here we've got another little fountain feature. Looks really good with the bushes around it and the fence. Snow just looks so perfect on this island. It always amazes me because when it was snowy on my island, I really struggled to decorate. Oh, and here we've got one of the creator's houses. Wow, I love this little entranceway. Oh, here they are. Oh, what a cute dress. Boo. Ah, let's have a look. Cues. This is like the little living room, all decorated for Christmas. My goal is to have that wallpaper by the time it's winter on my southern hemisphere island because I really need it. Q. 
cute and this is the kitchen they've kept the color tones quite simple mainly greens and whites which i really like this is perfect And on to the next room. Oh nice, I was expecting this one to be a bathroom as it's how people usually have it laid out. But it looks like it's a little home office. Really nice and again they've used those same sort of tones as the kitchen, all whites and greens. Oh, here's the bathroom. It's so pretty. I love these items. And the wallpaper is stunning. This looks like it's the bedroom and it looks so stunning. They've used a lot of cherry blossom items, like the blossom pile on the ground, the wallpaper and the branches and the lanterns too. Wow, they've got a lot of villager photos. That is goals. And then the last room. Oh gorgeous, it's another bedroom. Very different colors to that last one. I think these are a lot of the antique items and I really like the look of them. They really match this wallpaper and the rug looks really good too. That was a really stunning house. I really love the way they've done this pathway up to the house with two different ones alternating. It looks really good. On the side we've got another matching fountain feature, the same as the other side. This creator really likes their symmetry, which really works for this island and goes with the elegant theme. Ooh, what have we got here? Maybe a bit of a restaurant. Oh, this is gorgeous. I actually like the way the incline's going down, like backwards. I haven't seen that before. Oh, this is so nice. We've got Lucky here. Is he the restaurant manager? <laughs> this is so gorgeous with the white and gold colors. I love those table runners down the tables. Again, quite a few wedding items in this area, which I really wish I collected more of back when the wedding event was on, but there's always the next one. I like how they've added this custom design of white petals under the flower displays. It looks really cool. Oh, so this is a little wedding area. It's so pretty. Oh, this is such a cool setup. I really like it. And so perfect for the beach as well, because beach weddings are gorgeous. <laughs> And I'm just going to follow the beach down, see what else we can find. I love all these candles they've used with custom designs underneath. That looks really cool. Here's the wedding cake. Ooh, and that's the end of the beach there. Wow, this area is so stunning. I love how they've decorated it. Bye, Lucky. Okay, we've looped back around all the villager houses. So now I'm going to go down this way. I'd love to know how many pieces of iron this creator used to make the island because there's so many of the iron garden chairs and benches. But they just fit the theme so perfect. It's such a stunning walkway. And the decorations all match with the other side where the villager houses too and this little spot here looks really cool so they've made like their own little bridge maybe they've run out of the in-game bridges but yeah this is a really cool way to do it oh wow and maybe this is why they ran out of bridges so we've got four here i love that oh what's this little area up here looks like a good photo spot this is so beautiful here looking out over the bridge to the waterfalls we've got some moon items and again the statues and ice items this is absolutely beautiful I like how they've got that statue on its own little island there i might continue up this way i think this is the last of the villagers houses in a row here and these ones actually decorated a bit differently must be because their houses are dark the creator has used darker items like the black rattan chairs and they've made the garden bench black as well which is really cool and then i think there's a little area behind these houses too that i might have missed just been checking the map as i go because yeah i don't want to walk past anything oh wow so this is like a little courtyard area i love that path on the ground oh and this is to the secret beach how cool i like how they've added the jail bars to add a little height to the area so it's not flat kind of helps to keep it hidden too such a cute little area Okay, and then coming back this way. Hi again, Raymond. Looks like we've got another little decorated beach area. Oh, a little painting set up here. It's really cute. And again, another elegant beach decoration. The zodiac items. And I love this little wooden sort of, was it stone flooring? 
And we've got another little cafe set up. How sweet. I love little beach cafes on the rocks. They always look so nice. And you get that lovely sky backdrop for photos too. Really nice. Then I'm just going to follow the beach down this way. Got the illuminated tree still up. Got the telescope here, maybe for stargazing. And the little fishing pier. Oh, I actually quite like the street lamp at the end of it. It looks really good. Oh wow, and another cute sort of restaurant set up here. I really like the custom design blanket they've used on the ground there. It looks really cool and I like the tassels. They actually look like tassels. So nice. Oh, and here it looks like we've got a larger cafe. Again, so nice. They've kept the stool design quite simple. It really works for their theme. And then we've got a bit of a library on the side too. The bookshelves look really good, customized to that white color. This is a really nice little area. And now I think we're heading up to the museum this way. Oh, wow, and again a fountain centerpiece. It looks so good. I've only got one on my island, but I feel like I need to put a few more in now. And they've used some fossils to decorate the outside, which always works really well and it makes sense because it's a museum full of fossils. This is really nice. And they've actually managed to make the museum look elegant because I mean, it's not the prettiest building, <laughs> but they've done really well. I love how they've got the moon set up on that island there. That looks really cool in the middle of the river. And looking up at the bridge from down here with the waterfall, that looks so stunning. This whole area is just really gorgeous. Oh, and here still with the Christmas theme, we've got a little tree farm. So cute. And they've kept it really small, which is nice. And here we're back at resident services. So I think I've almost actually finished the tour. This actually went quite fast. I like how this crater's made their whole island very accessible. They've got paths going everywhere. There's actually not that much like cliff terraforming, so you can't really get lost. And I really like that. Especially when you don't have a tour guide, you want to be able to look around the whole island without getting lost or missing parts. Got a cute little centerpiece here. The pond and they've thrown some halloween fencing around it which actually works really well you can't really tell the fence is halloween and the snow along the top looks really cute oh and here we've got their rock garden oh that's so cool i love when people make rock gardens i haven't attempted a rock garden i don't know if i ever will because i've heard it's a lot of work but it always looks so good when people make them oh cute Another really sweet beach setup. This one using a lot of the kids' tents. They're such a cool item. I'm really glad they added those to the game. Looks like a really nice spot to camp at. Oh, hi, Aurora. Oh, so this is actually the campground area. Right, I hadn't seen the tent yet. This is so nice. And yeah, I really love how they've used the addition of the kids' tents to kind of carry the camping area over a bit, make it bigger. And it looks like Aurora likes this area too. She's so cute. And actually a tip for when you're setting your dream address, if you've got any amiibo cards you can use one to get someone on your campsite or maybe set your dream address on a day you've already got someone there and it just makes the area look better rather than having no tent there. Excuse me. Okay well that marks the end of this island tour. I am blown away. This island was so beautiful. I love the theme they've stuck to and yeah the decorating is just amazing. Again the creator goes by mooncove.icnh on Instagram and I've also linked the Instagram in the description box too if you want to check it out. Also want to say a thank you to the creator for letting me tour their island. I really appreciate it and I feel honored to be on this beautiful island. Thanks for watching. Bye!